St. Joe Live Movie Reviews, brought to you by Reese Nichols. Lisa, are you ready to go back to the park? Are your bags packed? I think we're ready. Okay, well, that's right. Everybody, Isla Nubar is reopened in this third sequel to Jurassic Park, titled Jurassic World. At the Disneyland like Jurassic World, there's a ton of dinosaurs and tourists. Behind the scenes, it's park manager Claire Deering, played by Bryce Dallas Howard, who explains that it needs to keep upping the ante, which means creating hybrid dinosaurs like Indominus Rex. As you might expect, this dino and human killer gets loose in the park, causing raptor trainer Owen Grady, played by Chris Pratt, to team up with Claire to try and save the day before everybody gets eaten. Now, maybe my expectations were a little too high, and I should preface this by saying that I didn't like The Lost World or Jurassic Park 3, but I do love the first movie. This is marginally better than those two sequels because it prefers to pay homage to the original rather than try and topic or do anything drastically different. So yes, hanging out with the dinosaurs is fun, and coming back to the park it does bring back that sense of wonder, but there's not really any likable characters here. Chris Pratt looks like he's having a blast trying to keep a straight face, but he's stripped of all character we've kind of known him for. Bryce Dallas Howard is fine in her role, and the kids are just there to be annoying kids. <laughs> There's a lot to pick apart here, but ultimately, this would be a run-of-the-mill movie if it didn't have the Jurassic Park brand attached to it. But it does, so go on and have some fun. I guarantee you won't remember a thing besides <laughs> maybe the big fight at the end. I'm going to give this three Joes out of five. Lisa, what did you think? Um, I also gave it three Joes out of five. I only saw the first movie and then this one, so I have to admit that. Um, you know, it, it had the typical subplots of greed, family drama, and of course the sexually frustrated park <laughs> employees. There were plenty of jump scares for me. I thought that was fun. Um, Chris Pratt, perfect guy to play the Raptor Whisperer. Bryce Dallas Howard, beautiful damsel in distress. Although, I have to say, when they make women rip their shirts open and tie them up in little bows and wear stilettos running through the <laughs> park, that just makes me so mad. I wish they wouldn't do that. I agree. Um, as a parent, I appreciated that there wasn't a whole lot of blood and gore, so if you wanted to take, you know, your tweens or younger, that would be okay. Um, I like it when they do these things um, sure. for kids. Overall, I had a good time. I would also give it three out of five. Okay, so we both agree. You can read my review of Jurassic World and St. Joe Live in Friday's edition of the St. Joseph News Press, or go online right now to stjoelive.com. Join us next week as we review the new Pixar film Inside Out. Until next time, I'm Andrew Gogg. And I'm Lisa Erdman. We'll see you next week.